Marty Kaplan is the Norman Lear Professor of Entertainment Media at Society. And he was talking about how the Norman Lear Center works with the White House, the administration, but also uh, with Hollywood. A few quick clips. Uh, this is the setup from Marty talking about uh, the center. Hollywood Health and Society does outreach to the entertainment industry in order to provide a resource free to writers and producers anywhere in the entertainment industry who are covering the areas of public health, climate change, and access to health care. We do it in a wide variety of ways, uh, briefings, tip sheets, events at the Ooh. Writers Guild West and the Writers Guild East. Tomorrow I'm going to the lovely weather in New York for an event we are doing at the Writers Guild East on the uh, Affordable Care Act. Now, this is uh, you know, not foreign to us because, yeah, of course, we know that they're trying this all the time and Valerie Jarrett's taking meetings. But as you get into this the bits and pieces of the speech and you hear how deep and how vast and who is financing this infiltration of popular culture and media to propagate memes affordable care act okay i mean that's that's one thing it was voted it passed the supreme court it's law now we have to go propagandize it which is this is propaganda this is the definition oh this is great stuff of propaganda um, but, you know, climate change. OK, let's listen to the, a couple examples. Here's the Affordable Care Act. We have a new grant from the California Endowment, which is about the Affordable Care Act. Access to health care is a longstanding issue of public health. And now with uh, this collaboration of uh, funders, we are able to uh, provide special attention to it. And the event that I just mentioned in New York, uh, the Affordable Care Act comedy, drama and reality will will happen on Tuesday. Uh Uh-huh. Oh, I'd like to go to that. (laughs) If you look at the Hollywood Health Society, the advisory board is another one of those uh, kind of who who's who's is very, very. You know, David Foster, Vince Gilligan, you know, Vince from Breaking Bad, uh, Cantor's in there, the Cantor's who are, uh, you know, Disney, uh, Judith Light. (laughs) Very cool. Uh, Now, let's listen. (laughs) Let's listen to the um, do some more propaganda for climate change. We have a brand new aspect of Hollywood Health and Society, which is to work with. Uh, on the topic of climate change, yes, where, again, all these different activities, writer briefings, screenings, uh, newsletters, and so on, are an attempt to provide free resources to writers who want to include climate change as one of uh, the storylines that they're working on. And just to okay. give you an example of that climate change work, a few weeks ago, there was a field trip. We do something called story bus tours Woo. to the uh, JPL uh, NASA lab in Pasadena, where we brought something like 37 writers and producers <laughs> in to a bus. experience yeah. Yeah. the most amazing stuff that they have amazing. going on to inspire them in this area and to be factually <laughs> accurate. I'm going to say right now, like I said, I was in Los Angeles this whole week and I was yeah. hanging out with people from Hollywood types. Oh, and, with Angelina Jolie and Brad no, Pitt? The, no, the people that are the E Network, you know, level. <laughs> Ryan Seacrest, like I'm sorry. C, it's, the C, it's the C team, it's the junior varsity, it's the JVs. <laughs> the JVs, yeah, okay. And uh, and there, you can just see that sort of thing. They, most of these people do not know anything about current events no. at all. no. And, and they're getting a free group like to start brainwashing them about yeah. climate change. And then all of a sudden they're experts. Yeah. And they're getting a free bus ride to NASA. Come on. This is great. Classic. Uh, Everybody into the bus. Would you like a little more? Sure. Okay. Norman Lear, uh, as part of our efforts in climate change, has been saying over and over, what we need is to have a show that has lots of viewers and has a character who is a total pain in the ass about climate change. And the character he thought would best do that is Manny, the kid, on Modern Family. Well, that didn't happen. Now notice, they pitched it. 
they pitched it to Modern Family to try and make this kid a climate change nut job about, you know, everything. So they, they didn't do that, but... But I will show you something that did happen. And we never take credit for anything that we did. No, that's, ooh, we don't do that. We never do that. But I have seen Norman personally make this pitch to a number of showrunners. Now, showrunners are the people who, as the word implies, run a show. And they, it is their job to make things happen. Very important job. Well, they also runners. guide the show. Yes, they do. They guide everything. They guide everything. So now you know that this is actively being pitched to propagandize you through popular culture. And now he's going to play a clip. Hey there, neighbor. Oh, hey. It's Asher, right? Yeah. Um, I just wanted to let you know, I think there might be something wrong with your air conditioner. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, it just seems to be running a lot, even when it's uh, kind of cool outside. Oh, no, no. Um, my partner runs a little hot. So. <laughs> Not as hot as our planet. Eh. Sorry, I don't mean to be that guy. It's just, um, we're all in this together. Yeah, I drive a Prius, so... And that's a nice little gesture. My car runs on reclaimed cooking oil. I have some literature if you want it. That's okay, save the paper. I haven't printed anything since 2004. I was going to email you. On your power-hungry computer? My entire house is solar-powered. <laughs> I sell energy back to the grid and use that money to save polar bears. <laughs> I'm an environmental lawyer, so, you know, I'm pretty green. Mm, so is your lawn. <laughs> I went drought-tolerant. Succulents, indigenous plants, rock garden. My other daddy says your yard looks like a litter box. She's a cute kid. I remember when she was in disposable diapers. <laughs> right. So we all get the idea of uh, wow. Of how, yo, I can't accept another clip of the day. No, I'm not going to give it to you because it's part of the same clip of the day. I don't care. Now, it's the same clip. Now let's find out who do you think is behind so who's financing the, some of these things, John? Who could it be? Who could it be? Don't say Koch brothers, please. <laughs> it wouldn't be the Koch brothers. Another. It would be one of those other big groups or, or or White House from Rhode Island and whoever he's investing in, which well, I'm going to find there's out. There's such, the such an obvious one, John. Okay, Disney. There is another new exciting project at Health, Hollywood Health and Society, which is called the Global Centers. It's funded by the Gates Foundation. Woo-hoo! And, in fact, the our uh, Gates program officers are here in town today. And because they're here, we're in a series of meetings, which I'm playing hooky on briefly. Four others of us are at those meetings right now, which I will join. We now have partners in India and in Nigeria, the number one and two producers of entertainment in the world. I didn't know Nigeria was a producer of entertainment, other than those funny emails I get. I don't believe it. I think Hong Kong is number three. How does Nigeria get there? Or number two, or or three. I don't know. We have to look this up. Right, Right, exactly. Are India and Nigeria. Hollywood is number three. So we are now seeing whether we can help our partners in those two production centers do the kinds of things there that we have been able to do here. So this is attention, attention, India, Nigeria, you're about to receive some regime change and some freedom and democracy because Bill Gates is paying for it. Appropriately adapted for their areas. Let's just wind this up with the numbers. Let's just wind it up with the numbers and how how are they doing? It's a very short clip. How is it, how many TV shows? I mean, scripts, storylines. Even you, you want to take a guess at how twenty. The- so, in the course of our work, this is uh, uh, in the two years, eleven to thirteen, three hundred and thirty-five storylines that we uh, worked on. Uh, have been aired. We've worked with 35 networks in the past four years. 91 different television shows. Woohoo! 20, John? 20? 20. Uh. 